it's me, Carly Monroe here, and this week I'm back with a first impression on Design Essentials Coconut and Moni. Am I saying that right? Moni, um, the deep moisture mask and the curl defining gelé with the little ash, uh, what's that thing called? Asterisk? Accent mark? Accent mark. Why did I say asterisk? Anyways, so yeah. So this big curly fro has been provided by these products. Um, but before I get into all the details about the products, I want to talk to you guys about two quick things. One is that my giveaway is only 66 subbies away from happening. So good job to you guys on that. Kudos. Thanks for all the recent subbies that I've gotten. I really appreciate that. I love the feedback you guys are giving me on videos, um, the views, all that good stuff. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you don't know about my giveaway and you would like to enter, you can click this video here and go ahead and watch my Janet Jackson Puff tutorial where I, where I explain everything um, on how to win my giveaway. Um, if you don't want to click here because you want to watch the rest of this video, you can click the link in the description box below once you're done watching. So I will link that there. The second thing I wanted to talk to you about, uh, does anyone read? If so, let me know below. I'm looking for a really good book to read and I actually have no suggestions, no ideas, no thoughts, no anything. I actually googled the New York Times bestsellers, but I didn't see anything that really caught my eye. But if you guys have been reading a good book lately, let me know in the comments below. I would love to start reading something. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started about how I feel about these products from Design Essentials. I really want to try Design Essentials for a while now. Um, I've seen them in Sally's and they aren't that that expensive, but they aren't really like, they're not $5, of course. They, I think I paid about $13.99 for each product. Um, oh, well, one was $14.99 and the other was, doesn't say. But I, I know they're around that $13.99, $14.99 range. Um, the pros I have about these products. One, the deep moisture mask. Um, I used it once and there's still like a lot of product left in there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I can definitely get maybe two or three uses out of this, which is really good for me. When it comes to buying deep conditioners in these jars, I kind of don't like that. I usually like a lot of deep conditioners so I can saturate each area but saturating each area with this product because it's so thick and moisturizing I didn't have to use as much as I normally would which I really enjoyed about using this product and um, it had a great slip um, it really when I washed it out my hair just felt really soft moisturized not all dry and icky really good job on the deep conditioner and I definitely would try it again once I was done, I added just a regular leave-in conditioner and then I decided to use the curl defining gel. Now, what's crazy to me is it looks like I barely used the oh I don't wanna I don't wanna tip it too much just because I know that it will spill everywhere and I don't want to make that mistake. But with the curl defining gel, it says ultra mo moisturizing enhancer for lush frizz free curls for dry dull and thirsty hair and definitely i should have took a picture before because my hair was jacked up it was so dry i hadn't washed it in like two weeks it was like up in a bun just nastiness i did this with a twist out i only used a little bit of it i really liked that it was moisturizing and i don't feel like i needed to use an oil um i don't know if you can see it's not like really dry looking it's nice and moisturized I can even feel the residue on my hand but it's not like a nasty moisturizing residue um let's see what else oh con the only con I didn't like about the gel a or jelly or whatever you want to call it was that with my twist outs it left my neck so sticky and I hate a sticky neck my pillow is sticky and my neck is sticky but now today feeling my hair it's not sticky and I love the results I think it's actually worth it um, having a sticky neck to get big voluminous curls um i didn't let my hair dry all the way when i was taking my twist out so i think that does attribute to added frizz um i know the product does promising for does promise no frizz which when you watch this video you'll see me take my hair out um and you'll notice that there is no frizz it's a really defined curls and also this florida humidity does not help at all the only other kind of con I could think of was I don't think it'll hold up well for maybe lasting more than two days with my Florida humidity but again the humidity here is 
horrible. Like, I can walk outside after straightening my hair and two minutes later, I am a full poodle, like, for its ball. So, I think that it does have a good hold, but I think that the humidity here, I'm still, anybody who knows me knows I'm searching for a humidity-free product. Does, does that exist? Help a sister out, please, because I need it. Which I don't really consider a con. Frizz, to me, is like, character like it just it, it's it, it makes your fro beautiful in order to achieve this look when I did use this product I did notice that it gave me a lot of shrinkage which isn't a problem I appreciate shrinkage but today I wanted a little bit more of a um uh, I guess a length retention more of a length retention today so I went ahead and I used Manda Panda's um method of stretching my hair which did involve some heat but I did use my flat iron on a low setting and um, I will link that video below to her channel so you guys can watch that she has a great natural hair channel she has great hair great look really love her um, love her videos if you guys want to see how I stretched out my shrunken curls you can go ahead and keep watching towards the end or you can watch her method I will link that somewhere around here or even below so i hope you guys have a great day great night great whatever it is when you're watching this don't forget to always strive to be great spread love and inspire others thanks again and i'll see you guys next week okay so let's get started i'm gonna be using the deep conditioner coconut and moni moisture mask and i just want to show you what the product looks like really thick really like gooey kind of like a glob and I'm just gonna part my hair into four sections and smooth that all in each section. I was very generous with how much product I used, especially when I deep condition. I just wanna make sure every strand gets equal opportunity with moisture and make sure you hit them ends. That is really important when you are deep conditioning. Gotta keep them ends nice. So I don't know if you notice there's extra, I put it right back on there. We do not waste product where I'm from. Then I'm going to take a wide tooth comb and I'm just going to comb through each section making sure it's fully detangled from tip to root. So here we are, I've deep conditioned, washed that out and here's my hair after about an hour of sitting with deep conditioner in and it did a good job it made my hair really soft and nice and manageable let me zoom in for y'all so y'all can see these curls fresh out of the shower with some deep conditioner well without the deep conditioner removed actually so yeah they're nice and springy bouncy moisturized now i'm gonna do my flat twist like i would do any other time parting my hair into each section and then i'm gonna add my leave-in conditioner making sure that's fully saturated into each section and then i'll begin to part my flat twist and twist as normal adding the product this is the jelly it was very i guess like sticky and I was hoping it would dry good and it did but it just was sticky and I had to deal with a sticky neck and a sticky pillow but it's fine um, you know your twist outs are gonna be bomb the next day when you have a nice juicy looking twist so this is the next morning and I'm going to clip those out of the way get my oil and get ready for the takedown um, as you can see as I'm taking these down these curls are like springy non frizzy and really nice I kind of wish I wouldn't have stretched my hair so much do a nice looking fro so I really like the results fresh from the twist out without the extra stretching method that I ended up using so here I took my flat iron on 250 and I'm just going to part around the perimeter because you want to keep those pieces around the edge curly. You don't want to straighten those and then people can tell that you've stretched the middle. Then you'll go from the root and just pull through halfway. You can go lower if you'd like. I will have um, Manda Panda's video linked below so you guys can get the full on tutorial of how to stretch it using a flat iron. But it's probably one of the best ideas ever. I actually like how the results come out. And that's basically it for this look. After I've stretched my hair a few times with the flat iron, then I took my pick and I just kinda got some extra volume. And this is my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye guys.